Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikibits video about Irene Jolio Curie. Irene Jolio Curie, September 12, 1897 to March 17, 1956, was a French scientist, the daughter of Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, and, along with her husband Frédéric Jolio Curie, the joint winner of the 1935 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for their discovery of artificial radioactivity. This made the Curies the family with the most Nobel laureates to date. Both children of the Joliot Curies, Alain, and Pierre, are also esteemed scientists. As she neared the end of her doctorate in 1924, Irene Curie was asked to teach the precise laboratory techniques required for radiochemical research to the young chemical engineer Frédéric Joliot, whom she would later marry. From 1928 Joliot Curie and her husband Frédéric combined their research efforts on the study of atomic nuclei. Though their experiments identified both the positron and the neutron, they failed to interpret the significance of the results, and the discoveries were later claimed by Carl David Anderson and James Chadwick, respectively. These discoveries would have secured greatness indeed, as together with J. J. Thomson's discovery of the electron in 1897, they finally replaced John Dalton's model of atoms as solid spherical particles. In 1934 the Joliot Curies finally made the discovery that sealed their place in scientific history. Building on the work of Marie and Pierre Curie, who had isolated naturally occurring radioactive elements, the Joliot Curies realized the alchemist's dream of turning one element into another, creating radioactive nitrogen from boron, radioactive isotopes of phosphorus from aluminum, and silicon from magnesium. By this time, the application of radioactive materials for use in medicine was growing and the Joliot Curie's discovery allowed radioactive materials to be created quickly, cheaply, and plentifully. The Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1935 brought with it fame and recognition from the scientific community, and Joliot Curie was awarded a professorship at the Faculty of Science. Years of working so closely with radioactive materials finally caught up with Joliot Curie when she was diagnosed with leukemia. She had been accidentally exposed to polonium when a sealed capsule of the element exploded on her laboratory bench in 1946. Treatment with antibiotics and a series of operations relieved her suffering temporarily, but her condition continued to deteriorate. Despite this, Joliot Curie continued to work and in 1955 drew up plans for new physics laboratories at the Université d'Orsay, south of Paris. In 1956, after a final convalescent period in the French Alps, Joliot Curie was admitted to the Curie Hospital in Paris, where she died on 17th of March at the age of 58 from leukemia. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Irene Joliot Curie. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivents.